On October 23, 2024, the USS George Washington, CVN-73, a Nimitz-class aircraft carrier, marked a significant milestone in its operational readiness by successfully conducting a pre-aim calibration fire, PAC fire. This demonstration underscores the carrier's robust defensive capabilities, which are essential for its role in the modern naval landscape. The USS George Washington is equipped with an array of advanced missile and close-in weapon systems designed to protect itself from various aerial threats. Among its key defense features are two NATO RIM 7C Sparrow launchers, providing critical protection against anti-ship missiles and enemy aircraft. The carrier also boasts two rolling airframe missile RAM systems, known for their effectiveness in close-range defense against incoming missiles. Additionally, the ship is outfitted with three Phalanx CIWS, close-in weapon systems, rapid-fire guns that serve as the final line of defense, capable of intercepting threats at very close range. The period from 2022 to 2024 has been transformative for the USS George Washington. The carrier underwent an extensive refueling and complex overhaul RCOH, beginning in 2017, a critical midlife procedure that significantly extends its service life. Originally slated to last four years, the RCOH was impacted by various challenges, including supply chain disruptions and the COVID-19 pandemic, delaying its completion to May 2023. This overhaul not only revitalized the ship's capabilities but also upgraded its systems to incorporate newer technologies, such as the F-35C fighter jet, positioning the carrier at the forefront of naval aviation. Following the completion of the RCOH in May 2023, the USS George Washington embarked on a series of sea trials and pre-deployment certifications to ensure operational readiness. By April 2024, the carrier commenced its deployment as part of the U.S. Navy's Southern Seas 2024 exercise, a critical mission that involved sailing around South America and engaging in joint exercises with several Latin American navies. This operation marked an important phase in the carrier's transition back into forward-deployed service in the Indo-Pacific region. As of October 2024, the George Washington is on its final transit to Yokosuka, Japan, where it is set to replace the USS Ronald Reagan as the forward-deployed naval forces carrier for the U.S. 7th Fleet. This is a notable return for the George Washington, which previously served in this capacity from 2008 to 2015. The USS George Washington's journey from an extensive overhaul to active deployment reflects the U.S. Navy's commitment to maintaining a capable and ready fleet. With its advanced defensive systems and updated technologies, the carrier is poised to play a vital role in ensuring maritime security and supporting U.S. interests in the Indo-Pacific region for years to come. As it assumes its duties in Japan, the USS George Washington stands as a testament to the resilience and adaptability of the U.S. Navy in an ever-evolving global maritime environment.